else. Quentin uh-huh. Miller did an interview on a Rory and Maul podcast. And he mentioned Nas as one of the people that he worked slash wrote for. Let's play the clip and get your opinion. Mm-hmm. I've been still writing for people ever since. You know, I I done work with Nas, Big Sean, Jeezy, a bunch of other people, Jeremiah, Ty Dolla Sign, like a bunch of other people. Um, uh, I've been still writing for people ever since. You know, I you gotta I play that twice. That's like crazy. Nas, <laughs> Big Sean, Jeezy. <clears throat> A bunch of other people, Jeremiah, Ty Dolla Sign, like a bunch of other people. Um, so let's stop it there. Quentin Miller. I mean, this has caused a lot of controversy. And I had a lot of people saying, oh, he may have wrote some hooks for him. He don't think he wrote, you know, any lyrics. And I don't know. He, I really don't know. Honestly, if he if he did or didn't, he's got to go off what the man said. He didn't really clarify if he... You know what exactly he wrote for him, anything like that. Um, some of the other names, I'm kind, of, I wasn't surprised. Like a guy like Jeezy or a guy like Diddy, I kind of expect people to write for for them for yeah. things like that. But yeah. Nas, if he's writing for Nas, man, if he wrote for Nas, I think it takes away from Nas's credibility. Period. You can't call yourself the goat if you got a ghostwriter. What's your thoughts? You know, when I heard it, my first reaction to it. What's he talking about? Some hooks. He talking about I know why I can be. But as you're talking, and he knows this, because the shit happened with Drake. Yep. He leaves the door open for interpretation. When you leave it open, what do you mean by you wrote for nine? Nah, you just slickly threw that in there amongst the other names, knowing that this dude's name is on another fucking <laughs> stratosphere when it comes to hip hop royalty, right? Yeah, oh, I just yeah. wrote for a lot of people. I wrote for Nas, wrote this. You got to be specific, bro. And yeah. the reason, and I don't want to say the reason, but you weren't, and now we're causing this, and now I ask, is that what you meant to do? And what did you write for Nas for real? Are you doing this, let's go back to the first conversation, for clout? Are you doing this just to merely say, yeah, I need to be back out here, I need to get my career back going, let me say something like this. Not to say that he didn't, right? because I'm not saying he's not telling the truth, right? but a hook on something that's bouncing and catching to something is far different then you writing somebody's verses, in particular in hip-hop, in my opinion. And exactly what you just said, oh, if in fact he wrote for Nas and wrote <laughs> bars, that takes away from that man's credibility as one of the greatest of all time. I think Quentin knew that, and I think he's causing this controversy. For what reason, I don't know. Yeah, it could be true. That definitely could be true. Um, um So, apparently, uh, this whole Quentin work with Nas conversation going a little more viral than what I thought because now you know people are reaching out to me asking me to clear it up I have to clear up the fact that I worked with Nas so okay and you know off the strength you know I want to shout out to hit boy you know for the opportunity that he gave me when he invited me to the studio and allow me to work with Nas. Shout out to Hit Boy for that opportunity. I also mentioned other artists that I worked with, from Jeezy to Jeremiah to Todd Dalton and fuck it. I mentioned other artists, writers post their work. And talk about their work all the time. You know why? It helps. It also helps with the business of writing. When people know that you were part of certain things. It makes people more prone to work with you. You know? It's kind of part of the job. Uh, is naming your resume or your catalog or whatever. It, it's, it's, it, it kind of goes with it. But it's not that way with me. Because... I just so happened to have had a situation with the biggest artist in the world and it turned into a whole fucking ghost writing scandal. And now I am the ghost. Now, anytime people work with me, it's like I'm supposed to be a ghost, but I'm not a fucking ghost. You don't make money being a ghost. They don't pay you. Artists don't give a fuck if you have money or not. They do not pay you. So if you don't get paid and you can't even get the clout from being a part of this shit to get 
opportunities to get paid, why would I want to be a fucking ghost? Let me say this right now. Quentin Miller. Quentin Miller is not a ghostwriter. And I want all the artists out there. I don't give a fuck if I never work with another artist again. I don't care. I do not care. Because I hate the fucking business. I am not a ghostwriter. If you work with Quentin Miller, you worked with Quentin Miller. And you better be okay with saying that you work with Quentin Miller. Now, when it comes to the Nas situation, I was just, I pulled up on Hit Boy. That was a, a situation with Hit Boy. I'm in the room. I bounce some ideas out. There we go. Clear it up. I just bounce some ideas. Couple ideas went. That's that's it. That's all that happened with the Nas shit. But I am not a fucking ghost. I am not a ghost. I'm sick of this shit. Fuck. Um, it would hurt. That would hurt me if I found out <laughs> he wrote some shit for Nas. You. <laughs> like, my- you. <laughs> <laughs> like look at the camera gets stuck fucking camera always gets stuck but nah man yeah that, that would definitely hurt me because when you think about guys like jay-z you think about you know some of the greats you already know like now even with jay-z i'm sure kanye wrote some of the hooks mm-hmm. for certain things certain people wrote certain hooks for certain things but to write them lyrics like what if you wrote you know one of Nas's? not to say they did what if you wrote you know ether or you know, one of those type of things. I think that takes away, you know, you like I said, you can't call yourself the GOAT when you got ghostwriters. Ghostwriters of, of verses. May, people may disagree with that, but mm-hmm. my thing is, this is what you do, dog. Like, you're in the studio, you're getting paid millions of dollars. This is your craft. You fucking better perfect it. Now, I, I, don't have, I don't see nothing wrong with people coming in and giving you, like, if we in here vibing together and he got something, yo, this is hot. Mm-hmm. I don't see nothing wrong with it, but I can't be the best if you're going to help me write my shit down. You know what Word. I mean? I'm just the artist. Word. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, you spitting bars and you're sitting there stuck on one and somebody throw a line out. Oh, that's different. Right. Use that and make it yeah, mine. That's, that's yeah. different than, hey, yo, here. The whole gonna, shit. You're going to spit it like this. <laughs> oh, you're going to repeat what I just spit in the studio because I just did it for two hours and now you're just going to repeat what I did. That's what R&B singers do. That's what Chris Brown does. Yeah, yeah. And that's why he's one of the greatest entertainers of all time. Some of these rappers are entertainers. Diddy's an entertainer. It kind of got me to even though, honestly, because I don't know if I was just naive to it a little bit, but it kind of also got me when I found out that um, you know, that people write R and B stuff for people. Really? Yeah, I'm like, damn, I thought that was Chris Brown shit. Shit. But then I kind of you know got like you know because you kind of associate them to the song like mm-hmm. oh shit, but then I got kind of like okay, it's cool because even like uh, a couple of Usher joints like Neil wrote yep. one of the joints and stuff like that, so it's not it's not really that big of a deal. But I, I don't know, man. I, I I can't really see him writing Nas's verses though. Me neither. I and- think.